want um, I'd just like to introduce you guys a, a, um, a new latest camera uh, the um, uh, GYHM100E uh, this particular camera here uh, it just arrived in our shop just a few days ago um, this is one of the, the latest um, um, uh, camera which uh, doesn't use tap we call it tapless camera uh, basically uh, we don't use uh, JVC and a lot of different companies out there now they don't use uh, tapes anymore and instead of uh, using a tape uh, now they're using the SD card um, now first off um, I'd like to uh, show you uh, some of the feature uh, that uh, uh, actually come with this camera here now uh, as you can see here uh, it comes with the Fujidon lens um, and it's also come with a rot rot rotary optical image stabilizer um, so it's allowed you to, uh, because it's a handheld camera, um, so it's able to iron out most of the um, sh sh shoot, which is um, unstable, uh, and it does the job uh, really perfectly. If I check the camera here, it, it's just right in here, we uh, can actually look at it. It's just like the optical, um, it's kind of the lens actually vibrate within inside, uh, that will actually make um, the, um, um, the camera a lot more stable. Now, um, as you can see here, um, it comes with the Fujinon lens uh, over here. Uh, we got uh, the uh, ring control here for um, zoom in, zoom out. Now this particular one here, we can uh, we actually use it control the either focus or the zoom here. Now basically, uh, you can actually switch on top that's for focus, and down here it's uh, for zoom. I don't know where you can actually see it right there uh, here up. And, and down. So one button you can use it to control uh, the focus or zoom. Um, over here you got uh, the neutral uh, density filter as uh, you can see on every camera. Down here you got um, uh, the autofocus and manual focus. So by switching this button down here you can either turn on uh, automatically or, um, uh, fo or automatically focus. Uh, along the line here you've got full auto button here. Now this full auto button here allows you to turn everything on automatically. Down here we got uh, gain. Uh, if in case you shoot in low light, you can actually do low gain, medium gain, and high gain here. White balance, you can actually program the white balance into this particular uh, camera as well. Now also down here, as you can see here, along with the all the professional one, we got the auto white balance button down here, where we just put the um, white um, paper in front of it and we can actually do white balance for this particular camera. Now along the line here, um, on top of the handle here as you can see uh, we got all full control of all the audio. I come with the uh, professional microphone here. Um, the um, channel 1, channel 2 input, we can actually choose uh, whatever input we, we like. The uh, microphone, we can actually choose whether we can go in the microphone, uh, microphone input or the line input. We can choose whether we want the input 2 or input 1 uh, and also the volume for that as well. As you know here, it's, uh, it's just cool. Um, it's got the 2 XLR input here, it's just a full on um, audio uh, for, the, uh, for the professional. Um, come with the actual microphone here. Now, the funny thing is, um, when, you, when you look at this one, this one, this handle here, you can also take out the handle if you really don't want it. You can actually unscrew this uh, this particular one here and unscrew the uh, the actual handle. Now underneath here, as you can see, if you take out the, the microphone, uh, you can also use the uh, what they call the built-in uh, microphone here. So basically, it will make the, the camera smaller. Uh, so if you travel somewhere that uh, that uh, you need to um, you know it be tight on the on the space and not, you can virtually take this handle out and store it away and um, yeah it will be a lot more space for you now come along the line here come along the line here um, we got the 2.8 inch um, the LCD and you can see here now with the LCD uh, we also got the uh, the chalk shot sort of control here you can actually uh, move it up and down and press it in if you want to control any particular uh, feature for the uh, uh, for the LCD and over here, and I forgot to mention one more thing. This particular LCD here, um, you can actually flip it around, and then you can actually fold it back in, uh, you know, as, as same as any other camera, pro, professional camera out there. 
Let me just start on back onto this way here. Now over here, as you can see here, we got uh, the uh, some of the feature in here. Now, firstly, uh, we got the display here. We can actually turn the display on and off. And user three. Uh, I forgot to mention with you one more thing is uh, with the with the um, JVC you can if you ha happen to have a uh, few people using, you can actually program as user one, user two, and also here as a user three in here. So um, if you can have the three people using the camera with their, uh, they can they can program the way they want it uh, in this particular camera as well. Uh, switch on between camera and media. So when you switch this button here. It will allow you to play uh, the actual um, footage from the from the actual memory card here. Menu, uh, also the um, uh, the review uh, display here. Now down here you got um, uh, the component out, the AV output for the normal composite output and also the normal um, audio output. Now along the line down here, as you can see here, we got two slots here for um, the SDHC card. Uh, and uh, and there's no tape in this camera here. Um, it, with the two slot here, you can fit the maximum um, each slot here about 32 uh, gig. So to, the total now it's about 64 gig in total that you can record. And uh, for each of the 32 gig, you can record in the maximum probably about three hours on each one. So is that amazing? Uh, and when it fill up one card. It's automatically um, go on to the next card for you, and then all you gotta do is check this one out, plug straight into your computers, and record and trade away. Now, with uh, the cards, as I've got uh, one of the cards here, I just want to show you. Um, now, uh, this particular card here, uh, as you can see here, is, it's a it's walkie card. Um, uh, we can throw it in to, to the, uh, the package for you. It's just like the SD card, what we call SDHC card. Now, the class 6. Uh, um, this particular card here we can plug straight into the uh, camera and uh, the maximum uh, you can get on the card, SDHC card now is um, uh, 32 gig. So virtually you can plug um, 32 gig in here, 32 gig in here, that will make 64 gig altogether. Is that cool? So three hours, three hours, that's six hours altogether that you can record on this particular camera here. Now talking about the uh, recording format. Uh, you can record in MOV format and also the MP4 format. Now, it's, uh, now these days, uh, anyone who got Max or uh, in uh, uh, for using Final Cut Pro is a perfect camera uh, for Final Cut Pro. It should in MOV and you know uh, uncompressed format. And uh, once you finish recording on this camera, uh, you should pull the card out and put it straight into the into the Final Cut Pro, and away you go. How cool is that? Um, now, with also with the um, Adobe, and there's a few, um, quite uh, quite a few of the software out there now support uh, this sort of format. You can work on uh, Adobe CS4, uh, uh, MP4. You can also change it to record in MP4 format as well, uh, and also MOV. So there's there's a setting here that you can change uh, whether you want to record in MOV or MP4 format, and um, you can use in, in both of the software. And it's no problem. There's more and more. Um, software that now stands to support all these format. It record um, it, uh, it, it it's MP4 and MOV. So yeah.